So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally off- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. What if but I like it old school. The height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. 
I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. My little camera bag the is battered, but still kicking. The self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Hmm. 
Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Man, he even...